clear takes place in the year 2052. This takes place after a great war in which not only did the United States not win, but they were summarily defeated and pretty much double-crossed. After this war, everyone pretty much just checked out. Uh, at that time, there were no more computers. What they would do is they would run the system right into our our bodies. Our, our minds have, be have become the computers now. And everyone is wired in and it's mandatory and it's all overseen by the Department of Connectivity. They furnish people with these things called veils, which are filters, which allow people to see the world as they see fit. If you want to live in the old Hollywood, you want to live in the 1980s, wherever you want to live, this is how you will see your life. Now, there is a setting for clear, but almost no one uses that setting, except our hero, and his name is Sam Dunes, and he's an ex-military private detective. While on a case for a client, Sam gets dosed with a thing called a ZAD, which is like a, an involuntary filter where you might see something that you have no idea what you signed up for and, and it may in some cases make you stroke out or just go nuts. But Sam is able to tough it out and ends up uh, participating in a very cool chase scene at the beginning of the book. After that scene ends, Sam runs into his old military buddy who is now a sergeant in the police department and sergeant has some bad news for him. It turns out his ex-wife has just taken her life by jumping off the, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. After receiving some information that she may not have taken her life, but it may have been murder, Sam sets out to find out what really happened to his ex-wife. There's so much to love about this story. Snyder is really great at making these apocalyptic realities, like Noctera, for instance. And this one is completely different, but just as interesting. And I love the intertwining of the classic elements of the great detective story, the old gumshoe detective story, like the CD office. He's on a case right now for the sexy rich lady who doesn't trust her husband. Uh, then he has his ex who takes her life. Contrast it against the whole cyber nightmare future. I was not really aware of Francis Manipal's work that much, but uh, after seeing this book where uh, they did the all the art, including the color, uh, this just looks impeccable. I love their line work and uh, the knowledge of color, uh, just the way that they, they make this whole thing pop. It's, it's just, man, it's, it's mind blowing. It's like a, a perfect combo of um, film noir and bleak future. I sometimes get a little bit too hyped up for a number one issue when they, they really get me excited. But all right, man, I really have high hopes for clear. This looks like it could be something special. I, this may be the best thing I've seen to date from Scott Snyder. And I'm not trying to be hyper hyperbole, but I really like this a lot. So clear from Dark Horse. Written by Scott Snyder and art from Francis Manipal is highly entertaining. I recommend it, man, at the, the highest level. So thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you, you'll know what I'm making my next video. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the funny papers. I not only love reading indie comics, but I've self-published several indie comics of my own. You can find them on my Alternative City shop, which has a link below this video. There you'll find, along with my comics, t-shirts, stickers, and mystery boxes, you'll find pens and magnets that I call CBOs or comic book originals, which are buttons, magnets, and pocket mirrors that I make from superhero comic books. These are one-of-a-kind items made from images cut directly from comic books, not photocopies, so each one is unique. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.